replacing the blower motor on my 2008 Pontiac G5. And you can order these kits off of Amazon where you get a ring and a bunch of little bolts that uh, go with the replacement blower motor. Uh, this is one that someone had previously replaced on one of my parts cars that I scrapped. So I'm going to be using that. You want to make sure you use an extremely sharp utility knife. If you have a cut resistant glove, I recommend using that as well. And uh, definitely safety glasses. First thing you're going to want to do is disconnect the motor. Then it's going to be kind of hard to film, but you want to... Uh, Take the utility knife and cut in between this indentation right here all the way around and then you want to try to get it on the solid plastic piece as well. The easiest way I found to do it is instead of trying to saw it, you take it and you push in a stab at a time and go all the way around until it's all the way cut. And then it just pulls right out. Um, when you get it out, you're gonna drill out two plastic rivets. And this is a cover that is gonna allow you to um, put the replacement motor in with these bolts. And I'm gonna show you all that when I, uh, when I get it out. And I'm, I am gonna show you on um, one of the HVAC systems I have from a parts car where I have it all out and it's, it's just easier to show you what's happening as opposed to when I'm doing it you might not have a very good angle um, with the camera view so let me get started and um, go from there so I'm gonna start by disconnecting the wiring for the blower motor Then like I said, make sure you try to find a cut glove and definitely wear safety glasses. And you're just gonna take a sharp utility knife and just push. go. Alright, so you're going to want to drill out the plastic rivets.
and that reveals the place where the motor's bolted in. Unbolt the motor. And then if you take your thumbs and you push down on the little uh, bolts that stick out of this side, usually you can push it right through. Slip the motor out. All right, take the bolts off the known good one. Make sure you line the plug up to the correct location. Push it back down. Put the two nuts back on. And then we put it back on, you're gonna to wanna to use the two additional holes, not where the rivets you drilled out, but the two holes right next to um, those rivets. Put in a self-tapping bolt. like that all right then what I like doing is I like getting the ring that holds down the unit I like getting it started on the blower motor first and that way you're not trying to fight the blower motor in this as you're un underneath the dash of the vehicle Now that I got two started, I'm gonna get this underneath the dash and then bolt it back in. All right, and there is your cabin air filter if you're looking through the bottom of where your blower motor goes.
and you are good to go. Let me show you on the parts car HVAC unit that I pulled out to uh, show you what that looks like. This is the bottom half of the HVAC uh, system I pulled out of a parts car. Here is the blower motor. And with the utility knife, you're gonna want to, when you're underneath the dash of the car, you're not gonna have much leverage and room. So you just wanna get there, push down, and then pull up, keep going in and out until you get it all the way around. And eventually you'll work it all the way around cut that all the way off and then drill out the two plastic rivets and take the lid off replace the motor put it back in and you're good to go if you like this content please like and subscribe thanks for watching